Here, among the Gothic buildings and statue to a Civil War general, the future chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Secretary of State found his footing. Colin Powell never forgot his time as a student and ROTC cadet at the City College of New York. In 2013, it established the Colin Powell School for Civic and Global Leadership. We spoke with four students at the school, including Serene Cisse, a graduate student and ROTC cadet. For me, he's not, he's not gone, he's still here because he left us a legacy. Cisse immigrated from Senegal and met Powell at his undergraduate graduation. Last time I had a handshake with General Colin Powell was in 2019, and we have a selfie together. And he asked me what I wanted to do. I'm like, sir, I want to serve like you did. We found that sense of service among all the students. Rachel Holliday is a senior considering a career in law. You all come from different backgrounds. A lot of people don't know about the gem and the jewel that you have here. Tell me about the Powell School. This was actually my first choice school because this school really uniquely fosters public service. Um, to the community. Powell's passing came as a shock, especially since the students watched an online talk held by the general just last month. Most of you, I think, are not old enough to have gone through some of the- He was just so inspirational. Life. And I feel like, yes, we mourn him today, but he lives in all of our hearts and beyond the school walls. And I think, yeah, he's, he's an inspiration. Wendy Ihama is a senior and hopes to join the Foreign Service. Her parents are from Nigeria. She's a first-generation American, like a lot of CCNY's 12,000 students, just like Powell. A show of hands, how many of you are inspired by his, his journey? All of you. In, in what way for you? For me, I would say as someone who's also first-generation, like I'm in college and doing this for my parents. Like my mom couldn't even go to college. And even listening to him in September about his story and his Jamaican background, that was so inspirational because it goes to show that it is possible. I think it's a general theme that of all the boundaries that he broke, despite a lot of odds being against him, he was the first African-American Secretary of State. I think it's an example to everyone that you can do whatever it is as long as you work hard. There was a quote that grabbed my attention. He says, many of my college classmates had the brain power to attend Harvard, Yale, or Princeton. What they lacked was money and influential connections. Yet they have gone on to compete with and often surpass alumni of the most prestigious private campuses in this country. He was so proud of this school, wasn't he? He would often uh, stand by outside of Shepherd Hall. When, um, he would often, uh, you know, just shake hands with whatever, in the, whoever in, uh, would come up to him, he would just shake his hand and he would actually ask him about how their experiences at CCNY. Alejandro Espinosa is a senior studying climate policy. It's about uh, Colin Powell's legacy. It's about the fact that um, he wants his legacy to be inherited to our generation. And I think it's our task to, uh, to pass it forward to our children and grandchildren. Carrying that legacy, a future lawyer, diplomat, policymaker, and military officer. I mean, you're at the Colin Powell School. Do you feel an obligation to, to, to live up to something, some kind of an ideal with what you end up doing with your careers and, and, and your lives? And living up to his um, ideal would be the best public service we can do to him right now because now he'll be laid to rest. Rest up. <laughs> we'll carry forward your legacy. Mm. Powell wasn't only a figurehead at the school that bears his name. As you can see, he was always promoting and raising funds, a real presence on campus. And I have to tell you, after talking with those students, I couldn't help but think how proud yeah. he would be. Yeah. But that's how you know you've, you've, you've lived a life well spent. When, right. when that is your legacy, mm -hmm. you've done it right here on Earth. Yeah, he talked about the fact that, you know, growing up, he felt a little lost. And then when he enrolled, he felt immediately a sense of community. Mm. And that word community, they all used it. And you could feel it. So I think... Um, he would be proud. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great story. Good story. Thank Great conversation. You. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.